So last year, I brought a road bike, Polygon Stratos S2. I brought it from Bicycle Online for $899 plus $19 shipments fee. So Polygon is an Asian brand founded in 1989 in Indonesia. The model that I get S2 is the entry level of the whole Stratos series. So someone did actually ask me what is the meaning of entry level compared to the other bike. So mainly there's three definitions of entry level. The first one will be suitable for beginner. The second one is the price is always one of the lowest price around the range. The third one will be all the component is very basic. So the highest end of the Strato series is the S8 disc brake, which is around $2,856. And mine S2 is just $899. So today, my main purpose of this video is not to introduce my road bike. What am I going to do today? For yo, I'm Clem from Clem Traff Vlog. I'm going to talk about new tires that I brought. Continental Ghetto Skin. <coughs> and the new drop bar tape, the Control Tech Iwa Form Bar Tape. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to open this Control Tech Eva Form Bar Tape. Let's have a look. So from the box, they provided two of the bar tape and two of the plastic bar plug. So let's have a look about this bar tape. Mm, soft. So with this bar tape, it comes with few options of colors. They have black, white, blue, green, yellow, pink, red, and the one I choose, orange. So why I choose an orange color? Because, be because, 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 orange is my favorite color it is control tech eva form bar tape i brought it online from pushy vessa with the price of 1995 so control tech is a united states uh, brand but this tape is made in taiwan so the main part about this bar tape is it is easy to be applied and durable okay so let me just unbox this tire first Okay, this is a Continental Gather Skin Folding Road Tire. I bought it for 99 bikes online. The original price listed was 85 And as a gold member, I got it for gold price with $62.10. It is made by Natural Rubber Trade. It's a famous tire brand in Germany that produced quality tire. So this type of tire was designed to suit for sporting, training and commuting. So what is the highlight of this tire? It was advertised as a tough, durable, extremely high mileage and puncture resistant tire. Although this scatter skin tire is not a full on winter tire, but some reviewers actually mention it can be used for winter condition. So what's the difference between winter tire and summer tire? There are three fundamental differences between winter tire and summer tire, which are their structure, their rubber compound and their track pattern. So regarding the winter tire, winter tire have a higher natural rubber content which keep them supplied in cold. The softer they are, the more it can interlock with the road surface, improving the grip and handling. Besides, winter tire have deep track patterns to provide gravity for snow. So with this tire, there are two main technology, the Poly X Breaker and the Dura Skin. So regarding the Poly X Breaker, polyester reinforced to prevent penetration. It is designed to perform well in dry and wet condition while providing maximum grip and long lasting usage. As polyester has been used successfully in years for car tires and been tried and tested many many times. So regarding Duraskin, ultimate sidewalk protection. So it reinforcement form and protective shell over the entire casting to prevent cuts and then there's a Kevlar belt under the tread for cut and puncture prevention. So, regarding the TPI of this tire, it's a 3 180. So, what's the definition about TPI? So, basically, the higher TPI means that the wheel will roll faster but will be easier to be damaged by road debris. On the other hand, the lower TPI provides a safetier and better puncture resistance. Of course, it is heavier and rolls slower. So with this Continental Gather Skin tire, it runs at around 90 PSI. The ride is adequately fast and subtle over bumpy tarmac. 
so all things considered, the main reason to buy this tyre are reasonable grippy and mid-range pricing. The only disadvantage are a bit stiffer than premier summer tyre and not as robust as an all-out winter tyre. And for me, I don't always ride on the road. I usually prefer to ride on a trail. Some trails, especially away from the centre of Metropolitan, would not be maintained well. There might be holes, uneven surface, or maybe they are gravel. So after a few weeks of research, I decided to buy this road bike tyre, which is good for the cyclists like me, who like to ride on the trail. There's one thing upset a lot of people after they change their tyre. Yes, the physical pumping. By the way, I also bought this. What is this? This is the a Radio CO2 inflator. I bought it from 99 bytes as well. The full price is $29.99, but with my gold membership price, I got it for $21.60. So what's the main purpose of this one? It's actually designed for you to inflate your tire in seconds. Yes, seconds. And this time, I buy one, I'm gonna try it. Nice. All right, let's start to get this installed in my road bike. Let's go. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off both of my wheels. Anyway, I'd like to talk about this uh, bike repair stand. I bought it very cheap, $89 from Crazy Sales. It's all right, quite stable, does the job. So, can't complain. Let's continue. I'm going to remove the original bike tape. Huh? Alright, after removing the old bar tape, now I'm going to put on my new bar tape. Now put it in. So this bar tape is constructed from uh, EVA form. So it is designed as a comfortable uh, bar tape, as well as dimping vibration emanating from the road. It also adding a waterproof edge when it rains and ensuring the impressive grip in all weathers. The last thing, you have to push all your bar tape into the hole here and then put in your plastic drop bar plug and then after you complete putting in the bar plug, make sure you put your cover down. So. That's done for my left hand side of my handlebar. So I'm going to do the same thing on my on the right hand side. All right, this is the new bar tape that I put on my drop bar. I like the color orange. Let me feel it. It's soft at the moment. So the only thing I don't like is the stripe. It's not strong enough to hold it. Later on, after I replace my tire, I will be going for a ride and let's see what's the feeling of this new bar tape. Okay, now let's go and change the tire. So, double check, everything's good. And now I'm gonna try this one. So, in the box, it's actually come with a knob and two bottles of the CO2. First thing, tighten up the knob and then put in the CO2. Screw it into the vault. Done. It's inflated. Beautiful. So one thing you have to very be careful when you use this one, always use the one with the insulated cartridge sleeve to prevent frozen finger. Alright, complete the replace these two uh, tire. Now is the time to put all uh, these both tire back onto my bike. Beautiful. Here we go. The Continental Get a Skin Tire. And then my new 
orange color control tech EWA form bar tape. So this is another upgrade of my bike. All right, upgrade complete. Brand new drop bar tape and brand new tire. So now what I'm going to do now? Of course, that's right. Let's go. All right, now I'm going to start to do a bit of test riding. So before I start my test ride, I'm going to talk a little bit what is my outfit today. So I'm wearing a riding jersey provided by 2XEU. So I got this jersey given by the event from the Great Ocean Road Classic. So it's a very comfortable. So the good thing about this jersey is once you sweat, it absorbs and evaporates immediately. So you don't feel heavy on your body. And for my pants, I'm wearing the Hesterly short bit that I brought few, few months ago. For my shoes, I'm just wearing a normal runner by Impulse. I haven't got a clipper yet, so that's my next target. And I'm wearing a trip tag glove. So this is my outfit, of course with a bike helmet. So there's two main things I'm going to test. The first thing is going to test the top speed on this uh, straight line between uh, Forsyth Road and Skeleton Creek uh, Aquaduct. The main purpose is just to see what's the difference on the feeling of the tire. And then uh, the second one, I will be looking into uh, doing a gravel riding, a short one, fine gravel. The main reason is to uh, check, see how this uh, new tire could be performed under uh, gravel conditions. Uh, today is a bit windy but no rain so it's not wet so I can't really test the wetness and then also when I'm riding on the gravel I will need to try the feeling of this bar handle all right let's go to my first test right, here it is the four Sarah entrance of Federation Trail so I'm going to power up and see how fast I can go and how smooth this tire going to provide There's not much different. Maximum speed is around 34. With my old tires, it's actually uh, I'm doing 34 as well. I reckon the feeling of this new tire is actually quite smooth. And it's quite stable. All right, now I'm gonna do the second test. Fine gravel riding. See how's the performance of the tire and how's the performance of the bar tip Okay, now I'm going to do a summary of my two tests. First one on the Federation Trail. On a flat, straight line, 
speed was good. I hit 34. Same like a, a previous speed on my old tire. So the whole feeling is quite comfortable, very smooth. And please bear in mind that actually I'm riding anti-wind and there's actually quite a lot of people, pedestrians and cyclists, especially young kids on the trail. So with this factor and add up with the factor of the anti-wind, I believe I can go a lot faster, hitting to uh, 35, 36 or even 38. Now regarding to uh, gravel, it's actually you feel a lot different compared to the last tire. This one is a bit more stable. Of course, a lot more smooth, faster as well. And I'm actually doing a NTV riding as well. So definitely, this is a very good uh, improvement compared to the previous tire. And regarding the drop bar tape, uh, it feels a lot different. This one is a bit more softer and you actually you actually don't really feel the vibration of the gravel so like what they say the e 4 actually reduced the vibration which is beautiful with the price that pay for this but hey no complaint so hopefully not only that i'll be able to uh, purchase another equipment another upgrade aiming for pedal and of course, clippers pedal with clippers shoe. So before I start to leave you alone, just one last thing I'm gonna say, don't forget to click like, give me a good thumb up, and subscribe my channel. Who am I? I'm the Trail Explorer, Clem from Clem Travlog. I will see you on my next adventure.